Hi, I'm Miranda Valentine, editor of the lifestyle blog Everything Sounds Better in French, and today I'm going to show you how to make chocolate covered strawberries. You're going to start with one pound of washed strawberries and 12 ounces of dark chocolate. And what I have here is um, a bag of already chunked dark chocolate, so I don't have to like do any hard work and cut it myself. You can also use um, little chocolate chips if you'd like. Then I have skewers here. Um, if you have strawberries that have a nice top like this, you can actually dunk yourself doing this, but if you prefer to keep your hands away from the chocolate or you don't have a good stem to grab from, um, also grabbing these like bamboo skewers from the grocery store are a big help. Um, I have a piece of parchment paper here. You can also use wax paper. Um, and I have just a little cutting board underneath or you could use a baking tray. And then over here to melt my chocolate, I have, I've created like a little um, double boiler thing happening over here. Um, so I have one inch of hot water simmering in this saucepan and on top of it I have this uh, metal bowl. So that's already simmering. So what I'm gonna do is melt my chocolate. So I'm just gonna pour it right in the bowl and I'm gonna keep an eye on it because I don't want it to burn. So I'm gonna keep stirring it, making sure it doesn't clump up at the bottom. Um, so just pour this right in. Okay. So it starts to melt immediately. And then obviously because this is a metal bowl, it's going to be quite hot um, and it moves around a bit. So just use um, a pot holder or just, you know, a little towel just to hold it steady, protect your hand. And it just starts to melt immediately as you can see. So we're just gonna give this a minute or two, keep an eye on it, keep stirring, and we'll come back when it's all melted. Okay, so our chocolate is all melted. I've turned off my burner and I'm just gonna move the bowl of melted chocolate right over here onto my workspace. So I'm going to use a dish towel because again, it's going to be really hot. Okay, just gonna put this off to the side. Okay, so as I mentioned, if you have um, sufficient stems, you can just dip it this way. So I'll show you both ways. If you have plenty of stem, just grab it like this and you're just going to, I'll show you, you're just going to dip it into the chocolate, swirl, and pick up. Just let it drip for a second. There's bound to be some leftover, so if you want to protect your countertop or your workspace, just bring a spoon underneath it. And you're just gonna rest it here on your parchment paper or your wax paper. And then you're just gonna continue. So let's do it with the skewer so you can see that method as well. So just insert the skewer to the top. Um, I'd push about halfway through, make sure to not stab yourself. We wanna be safe while we're making our delicious treats. Um, so now you have it on the skewer, same thing. Just dip in and you're just gonna swirl. And you're really, you're not covering the whole thing. You're doing about half to three quarters. You don't wanna get the chocolate all the way up here. Um, you want a little bit of uncovered strawberry so that you can see how beautiful it is. So just swirl, swirl, swirl. Okay, and I'm gonna let it drip for a second. Protect. Head over here and just ease it off the skewer. Or for a fun presentation, um, you could do it with toothpicks and actually leave it on the toothpicks or you could do it on the skewers and leave it on the skewers if you have plenty. Um, that would be really fun and cute too. Um, so we're just gonna keep going. Um, and then when we're finished, we are going to put them in the refrigerator uh, for about an hour to let it cool and harden and then they'll be ready to serve. Okay, so now all of our strawberries are dipped and laid out and they're ready to go into the refrigerator for about an hour to harden. Uh, when that's done and they're ready, we'll pull them out so you can see how beautiful they look. Okay, so our chocolate covered strawberries um, hardened up nicely in the refrigerator, took about an hour, and then I was able to easily just pick them right off the parchment paper. Um, as you can see, they're completely hard and a little bit chilly and perfectly delicious and ready to go. So there you have it. That's how you make chocolate covered strawberries. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And if there's something that you want to learn how to make, 
send me an email at request at mahalo.com. And don't forget to check out our other great videos.